Hi everybody, I am That Nursing Prep and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about blood typing. So let's get into it. In order to understand blood typing, we need to understand a lot of vocab and the different components of the blood, the plasma, etc. So what is in it? There's the red blood cells, which we know help us carry oxygen throughout our body, platelets, which help with clotting, and then our white blood cells are there to help for our immune system to kind of like fight out pathogens and keep us safe. The different blood groups, there's actually four blood groups, which is A, B, A, B, O, and then eight blood types. So when somebody says, you know, what's your blood type, you would usually say A positive or A negative. So that is a combination of the blood group and your RH factor. And your RH factor we'll talk about later on in this video. So sticking with the blood groups, there's the four of them. And on our blood, we have something called antigens. Antigens are proteins that are found on the surface of red blood cells. So if you have A antigens on your red blood cells, then you are a type A blood. Another vocab word that's important, antibodies. So antibodies are found in the plasma, so surrounding the red blood cells, not attached to them, and they help protect our body from infection. So all of that is well and good, right? These are good things. This is how the body protects itself. Sometimes there can be issues. So if the antigens in the red blood cells can trigger an immune response when introduced to a corresponding antibody. The word for that is agglutination. So an A antigen and an A antibody don't like each other. They're not friends. So the donor's antigens, the person giving the blood, if you were going to give a blood transfusion, the donor's antigens and the recipient's antibodies must be opposite. What do I mean when I say the antigens and the antibodies have to be opposite so that they'll go together? This is what I mean. So for example, if you have type A blood, that means you have A antigens and B antibodies. So remember our antigens are on the surface, they're kind of markers, they're kind of identifiers, and then the Bs are floating here in the plasma, these are our antibodies. The antibody's job is to protect the body by recognizing foreign invaders. So if this is our patient's blood, the type A, and for example, we give type A blood in a blood transfusion, the B antibodies are not going to recognize the A antigens. They're going to say, hey, I've never seen you before, I'm not going to attack you, you're all good, and the patient is going to have blood. Let's say, for example, we didn't do that. Let's say we gave type B blood to a type A patient. Now, the antibodies are going to recognize these antigens as bad, as foreign, something that needs to be destroyed. So they're going to attack them. So they're not going to attack the type A antigens because they know those. It's good. They're supposed to go together. But it will attack the type B antigens because they are type B antibodies. They say no type B antigens allowed. Same thing for type B blood type. So if you have type B, that means you have B antigens on your surface and A antibodies in your plasma. So if we donate B blood to a B person, it's great. It works. Everything works out because they're supposed to go together. The antigens aren't going to do anything about it because it's good. If we donate type A blood to a type B person, those antibodies are going to respond negatively to those type A antigens because they don't belong. They need to be opposite. Okay. So we have our patient, we have their antigens, we have the antibodies which are always opposite. You probably noticed that. So if you're type A, A antigens have B antibodies. B antigens have A antibodies. They're always going to be opposite of each other. The other two blood groups are A, B, and O and they're a little special. So type AB means you have both A and B antigens on your red blood cells, 
And what's special about them is they don't have any antibodies. So they don't have anything trying to regulate what can be attached to them or not. Which is a positive because that means they are a universal recipient. Because there are no antibodies blocking these other blood types, you can give them A, B, O, A, and B. You can give them all the different blood types because nothing is going to reject them. Nothing is going to fight against them. On the flip side of that is type O. So type O doesn't actually have any antigens at all, and its antibodies are A and B. So type O is considered the universal donor. It's the universal donor because that lack of antigens. When it comes to receiving blood though, type O is a little bit special. Because it has both A and B antigens, it's gonna fight off A, it's going to fight off B, and it's going to fight off AB because those antibodies are going to recognize those antigens on that red blood cell surface, and they're going to say, no, you shall not pass. So the only blood type that O can receive safely is O itself, right? Because again, there are no antigens, so those AB antibodies are not going to respond to anything. Your RH factor, or your rhesus factor, is what determines whether you have positive or negative blood. So, very simple concept here. This is a protein that's either found on the surface of your red blood cells, kind of like an antigen, or it's not. If it's there, it's present, it's positive. So then you have a positive blood type. And if you don't have it there, it's absent, then it's negative and you have a negative blood type. When it comes to the patient receiving a transfusion, the donator, the recipient, that sort of thing, RH positive blood types can receive positive and negative blood. It doesn't matter. They can do both. If you are RH negative, you can only receive RH negative blood, though. So that's why it's super important to not only know your blood group, but also your RH factor. To review, Type A can donate to A and AB and can receive O and A. Remember, O is the universal donor. Everybody can get O. B, similar, can donate to B and AB and receive from O and B. Now our special ones. AB can only donate to AB but can receive from everybody. O, A, B, and AB, this is our universal recipient. And then O, our universal donor, can donate to everybody. O, A, B, and AB, but can only receive O. So a little practice question I wanted to do. If your patient is blood type B positive, what can they get? So what they, can they receive? Who can give them blood? Well, they can get blood from O. They can get blood from B. And what about that RH factor? So they're positive. People with a positive RH factor can get positive blood and negative blood. So in this example, this patient with B positive blood can get O positive, O negative, B positive, and B negative blood. Knowing your patient's blood type is crucial to their safety, especially if they're in a situation where they might require a blood transfusion. So knowing the type, knowing their RH factor, who can donate to who and who can receive from whom is critically important for the nurse to know when caring for our patients. And that was my video on blood typing. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.